was freaking amazing, but we're back down to earth with a bump this morning. We've only gone and run out of beer, so the idea is today we need to get some more vacant out, some more coconut shy out, and we're going to start kegging at the unit. Hopefully my casts and kegs will arrive this week, so in order to be prepared for that, we're going to take out the little used uh, gas system on my home bar, because let's face it, I'm not really using it. And uh, we'll take the gas bottle out, we'll take the regs out, and here it all is. We'll take the gas bottle out, we'll take the regulators out, and we'll take them down to the brewery and rig them up so we can actually carbonate the kegs there and then. Bar stripped. Corny's out, and then in here on the floor, we've got all the secondary regs ready to go in the car to take down because I'm going to fill up all my corners to put on craft keg for the boys and girls at the brew shed. Because ask anybody, the vacant on keg was freaking amazing. Well, I think it's operation clean up in here for today before we can do any casking or kegging. Everything doesn't seem that bad considering we had a bit of a mad weekend in here. I do remember cleaning up after we had a bit of fun with the beer coming out the tanks and what have you. But one thing I didn't notice, which has just come to my attention, is uh, probably the main casualty from the weekend. Stuart's table. So, I don't want everyone to feel too bad about this because it was already broken when he brought it in. Just not that broken, so uh, yeah, we might have to see if we can get this up on the uh, on the side at some point today. Yeah, it's not very good wood. Yeah, the tabletop is actually you can see where they've used heartwood. They've used heartwood within this. So, um, like I said, it was already broken on the base. <laughs> I don't know if Stuart knows about it or not. But uh, I'm sure we'll be able to fix it back together. I don't know what he wants to use it for, because it's not going in the pub. But, well, it'll be easier to store now it's in pieces. taken the regulators that we brought from our house and hooked them up under the stairs here out the way we're gonna have the gas bottle strapped up down here to the staircase somehow or other and what I've been doing is changing all the pipe work obviously brand new stuff brand new pipe here brand new gas pipe I've been dipping it in some paracetic acid uh, wearing these gloves that Stuart brought me back from tool station last week and I thought, I could swear my fingers are getting wet. Look at that. Can that believe it? Brand new glove. Freaking hole in it. We've got 50% of a pair of gloves. Fortunately, they are cheap. So I think we're talking about a pound a pair. But still, a pound a bloody pair. So I'm going to carry on doing this. It's sweltering hot in here. Um, the time is ticking along and I've also got to take Dominic to hospital this afternoon for a final checkup on his broken arm because obviously it's well over a year now and he's still got bits of metal in there so they're, they're careful covering their own back I think so we're gonna to have to go at two o'clock to pick him up from school early and take him over there so I don't think I'm gonna get any of that beer in cask so we'll do that tomorrow and then what I will do as well tomorrow is gear up for a brew day and we'll do the vacant gesture again on Wednesday. Slight tweak on the recipe so we've got a little bit more bitterness in there. Yeah, one or two, one or two IBUs more. But other than that, it's just so hot. I 
Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. Oh gosh, so that's all that lot leak tested then. So we've got four gas outs on four, sorry, we've got three gas outs on four corny connectors on the quick disconnects for the gas. And then this one here is a spare, which I'm hoping to rig up to a Sankey fitting. Mine's down at Beer Heads at the minute, uh, so I just have to pick it back up. And then we should be able to carbonate the cornies that we've got at the very least. This is a temporary rig, of course, in the future, because I can't carbonate in the tanks that we've built. I'm going to have to carbonate in the kegs. So what I will do is just build some type of manifold with a switch on each one. Only needs one regulator if I'm going to be pumping 40 psi into each keg, leaving it for a couple of days, then that should carbonate to about where I want to be. The trick that I used with the corny keg on the weekend was 40 psi, PSI, rolled it for one minute and then left it overnight at 40 psi. And it seemed to be just about perfect. So here's Gem right on cue to pick me up and uh, we'll go and take Dominic to the Y hospital. Good timing, me love. You nearly scared the life out of me when you open that door. Oh, junk! It was stuck. <laughs> Right then, let's go and take Dom across to uh, Doncaster Royal Infirmary. That's where we're going, right? Yeah, Doncaster. Thought so. So we made it to Doncaster Royal Infirmary, aren't we, Dom? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the sun's glaring in. So we've got it on manual mode here. I'm not going to take the camera into the hospital. Hello. Hello. Because <laughs> it's busy enough, we're lucky to find a parking space, actually. We've just driven all the way around the hospital and back in. So, uh, it's not something that I want to do again. Let's just see if we can adjust this ISO a little bit. You can see the car park's rammed. And, uh, well, it's going to be busy inside as well, isn't it, buddy? Oh, that's Matt's helmet, yeah. We'll have to send you this, Matt, via the post, my friend. Yeah, I'll put it on. Hey, how's it look? <laughs> <laughs> right then, we're going into the hospital, so see you later, Abs. Trying to get the kids to do some bloody work is like trying to get blood from a stone. But yeah, the tomatoes have just started to turn colour now, so keep the water on them so I don't get any blossom end rot. And this is me for the day. I've got myself a cold brewski. What do you reckon, Dom? Are you cameraman in it for me? Yep. Good man. So we've got some tomatoes starting to change colour, but only one or two. Well, that's it then, isn't it, buddy? Yep. That's it for a Monday morning. Sure, sir. You mean Monday afternoon? Monday afternoon. That's it for a Monday afternoon. Is that it then? Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Shame on you, you macho shithead. Yeah.